Hi guys, this is Nico and I will be teaching you how to create shadow and highlights using only Pathfinder and Offset Path. So I want you to open a new file. Uh, I won't be teaching you how to do that since this is more advanced tutorial. So let's start. Do a rectangle. This will be the the bomb. Make everything middle, even this, designer ODD. Alright, so just copy one of the bumps and pass the front. So we have the winner. Oops. Arrange the bottom bump uh, front so it can be front of the winner. Alright, let's create the mustard. This is the only time we use the pen tool just to create one line so okay I see the stroke is not rounded let's make it around it's a lot easier working with round stroke we are done drawing the hot dog let's just group everything go to effects warp Edge and hit expand. Make the master without fill. Okay, so one by one object, just isolate and make the corners round. Make the winner a bit bigger. Select the master, go to FX, distort transform, zigzag. Go smooth and play with the settings. This is really interesting effect, it helped me a lot with the design. Alright, so select everything, object, expand appearance, expand again, ungroup. I want you to trim every object one by one using Pathfinder. So basically now the stroke and fill are separate. Uh, let's put some colors. Right for the master, make it yellow, go object, path, offset path. And that's it. Alright, so now the fun part. How I do the shadow. First I want you to ungroup everything. Select the object you want to do shadow handlets. Just go to object, path, offset path. And play around with the minus see how it fits you the best alright press ok so basically we just copy the shape and shrink it a bit just copy the dragon out let's color this one so we can see what we are doing so with the same shape we are creating a shadow it's more natural and realistic you can play around with the shape you want to cut, with, cut it with. Right, this is alright for me. So voila, we have shadow. Let's do a highlight. By the way, if you use the offset path a lot, just make a custom shortcut. Alright, let's color this one so you can see what I'm doing. See how easy it is. That's it. Let's do it for the winner again. Let's make this darker. Alright, same. Uh, 
uh, for the master let's just copy the stroke using control C and control B passing back and with the case just go down a bit and make it darker and for the top shape we won't using offset path just copy once and pass it twice so bring the the top object below cut it width and this is the right for me so we'll be using offset path again make this shine a bit let's create a shadow below I'll create a fast interesting effects just speed up this up I hope you learned how to use highlights and shadows using Pathfinder offset path also using the same shape you already created so it can look more natural and better appealing uh, if you like this tutorial make sure to subscribe and also follow my instagram page all right cheers